Hey folks, this is Kevmac1982. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Pet Battles in Shadowlands. This is my tactic for the Beast Busters achievement against Zola. Zola is located there at 54.4, yeah, sorry, 38.3 in Bastion. Um, he has three pets, Battery slash uh, Pounder. They have the abilities Mega Jolt, Overcharge and Rebuild. Then Metal Fist, Prowl and Extra Plating. And finally, Batter. Unstable Engineering and Explode. We are going to go with two Zandalari pets. They both need Black Claw and Hunting Party. And for the second one, we are going to go with Blood Fang. Um, these two are just literally there to do as much damage as possible against one or two of the pets. Because we can solo it with Rage Peep, but it takes so long if you do it that way. So we're just going to try and force the fight to move along as quickly as possible. Rage Peep is going to use all of his abilities. We have Nature's Ward, Preen and Rampage. So just to talk about Rage Peep very quickly. As you can see here, they all have the green arrow, which means they do additional damage to our beast pets. Now what we're going to do is use Nature's Ward. This will change our beast pet into a elemental pet and they will no longer have that additional damage and this means that we will be able to kill them without getting ourselves basically slaughtered it's a very good tactic and probably one that i will use on the other achievements as well so let's get into it we'll see more when we actually do the fight so we are going to start with black claw ouch then we are going to use Hunting Party. Very, very standard approach with the Sandalari pets. You can see it does a nice bit of damage as well. Unfortunately, he's dead. We'll switch to our second pet. Black Claw only has one round, so I'm going to use Black Claw again just to give us the additional damage for three rounds rather than just the one. So we Black Clawed, then we are Hunting Party. And this should kill him off once we do another round or two. That heal is a pain in the backside. So he's gone into his mechanical round. When we do our next Hunting Party, we should kill him off. Oh, sorry, not Hunting Party, Blood Fang. I miscounted there. So now our Zandalari Knee Biter is going to be a bit of a sacrificial lamb. So this guy, Slasher, is very, very fast, but he's going to use Prowl, which will lower his speed quite significantly. As long as your speed is above 259, you will be able to go before before him after he has used the prowl. And this is very key. So we're going to pass twice. He uses extra plating. We'll pass again. He will use prowl. And for this one, we will use black claw. And he's just going to annihilate us. Now, we might not get to use Black Claw, or we will get to use it once, but once is better than none. So, as I said, we're going to use Nature's Ward. At the moment, you can see that Metal Fist is going to do high damage against us. So, we're going to use Nature's Ward, turn ourselves into Elemental, so the next time he does it, he doesn't do any as much damage. And we're also going to heal up little ticks. Next, we're going to use Preen. It does two things. It heals us, and also increases our damage. So, let's use Preen. We could have done just Rampage to get the benefits of the Black Claw, but I think it's safer to use Preen first and then Rampage, and it also syncs up better with our Nature's Ward as well. So Rampage is going to continue for three rounds, so again, you, you just literally sit there and watch. So we have one round left. You have two options here. You either click Nature's Ward or you just wait it out for a round. I am always for using Nature's Ward because it ensures that we still have 
back off there. So this still has two rounds on Rampage as well. So we don't want to use this until there is one round left on Rampage. So I'm just going to Nature's Ward again. Now we will preen. This will make sure that two of our Rampages have the buff from preen. So now we Rampage. So just to go over that, ensure you have Nature's Ward buff up. So that's what this one here. Before you Rampage, use preen. So when this has one round left, you use preen. And then you have, obviously, again, a choice to do what you need to do. Now, we only have one round here. We are faster than him at the moment, but the next round, he will be faster than us. So we need to make sure that our buff is up. So let's Nature's Ward. Otherwise, that 509, if we didn't have the buff, would be significantly higher. We have two rounds left on Rampage, so we will nature's ward again just to make sure that we have the buff it's not 100 percent necessary to do it every time i just think it's better to do it so now that we have one round left here we are going to preen and then we will rampage so it takes about 50 ish rounds if you don't use two zandalari pets first we are already up to round 26. So you can imagine it's twice as long as it already has been. So because we are faster, we can we can pass this one. So we'll get the heal. Then we will nature's ward. Now that this has one round, we will preen. The goal is to get this guy down to 25%, so we need to just keep going with this. Then we rampage, we have our buff up, we have our nature's ward. And I hate that he keeps getting crits against me. Now. This is the one key thing. When he gets to 25% or less health, he will do his explode. Now, it has a 75% hit chance because of this buff that he has, or debuff, whichever way you want to see um, say it. So, I would say we want as much health as possible. So, that only at this point do we break out of our Nature's Ward, Preen, Rampage, wait, Nature's Ward, Preen, Rampage. Let's get some health because I know that this is going to do some damage. So it's equal to 40% of the user's total health. 40% of this is about, I don't know, 800 maybe. So let's just get the Preen up, get the extra health. Let's see how much he's going to do. Okay, he missed. What could we do? That's my tactic. I hope I explained it well enough. You basically need to do as much damage as possible with the Zandalaris via Black Claw and the Hunting Party and also throw in a Blood Fang when need be. Then when it comes to Rage Peep, now you can do this from the start, but I don't advise it because of how long it is. You need to keep up Nature's Ward, always preem before using Rampage and on that final, that final um, pet, that the enemy has you want to basically make sure you have enough health to take about 800 damage if you like this tactic please do leave a like leave a comment subscribe etc and thanks for watching bye bye